Hello. You might be wondering why this is placed halfway through the Resident Evil playlist. Or if you've seen this on the channel anyway, you're probably wondering what this video is about. Of course, the video is titled, Let's Talk About Resident Evil. Nothing special happening in the Resident Evil as of this day. But um, there's some speculations of what remakes are going to come out next. There's probably five going to be down like in like three years time. Maybe four. There may be even be talks of Resident Evil Code Veronica remade. But we never know. But as you can tell, or where this video is placed in the playlist, halfway through a Resident Evil 5 playthrough, I don't know why, but, you know, we're near the end of Resident Evil 5, if this, if this does come out during a time worth frame where I think it's going to come out. But either way, Resident Evil 5 Corp has only just been finished and done and dusted. I'm here to talk about what's going to be happening with the Resident Evil series on my channel. As you have seen, we've played through all the games at, up to this point, minus Outbreak File 2 and Resident Evil Survivor 2. We are currently working on Resident Evil 5 Co-op, or, if that's been done, we are currently working on Resident Evil Outbreak itself playing through Yoko. This is the thing that we're going to be dealing with. So, after we've done with Resident Evil Survivor 2, we're going to be playing through the main series all over again. That main series is going to go out like this. From from the in this exact order. So, like I said, after Resident Evil Outbreak file or after Resident Evil Survivor, from after Resident Evil Survivor 2 after Outbreak 1's finished, we're going to be going through Resident Evil Outbreak file 2 concur concurrently while playing Resident Evil 1, the 1996 version, where if the original we played, I believe we played as Chris in the original. No, we're going to be playing as Jill in the original in 1996. Then we're going to be playing the remake of Resident Evil 1. Say, for example, I believe we played as Jill in the remake. Instead, we're playing as Chris. Then we're moving on to Resident Evil 2. Where I believe in the original Resident Evil 2, we played as Leon, then Claire. Well, instead, this time, I'm going to be playing Claire, and then Leon. And then we're going to be moving on to Resident Evil 2 Remake, where I believe we've played as Claire, and then Leon, in their scenarios. But this time, we're going to go Leon, then Claire. As you can see, we're doing a role reversal from what we did originally. But that is not all. After doing the remake of Resident Evil 2, we're going to be doing the Resident Evil 2 remake again, but the Japanese version. This is a reason to use get some more achievements in the game. I may do little achievement runs in the uh, previous one, Resident Evil 2 remake, but this one is going to be the Japanese version. We're going to play Leon, then Claire, and then again with Claire, then Leon. After that, we're going to be moving on to the original of Resident Evil 3. There's no character choices in this game, but here's what we're going to be doing. In the original videos I did for Resident Evil 3, the normal, the, the original, we played it on hard, which is basically what the game is supposed to be played on. We're going to play it on easy and have a fun time killing all zombie, zombies with pretty much easy bullets. Then we're going to play the remake of number 3. I don't know how this is going to go down. I'll find a task for us to do at the beginning. Or we're going to do the Japanese version of number 3, just to give me something to do to play number 3 again. Whichever comes close. I've seen number 3 on the, play, on the Xbox thing. But for some reason, it's unavailable because I know how to get onto my Xbox and buy them. The Japanese versions, or I try and find the disc somewhere. I'll figure out with, with the Japanese version of Resident Evil 3. And then after the remakes of number 3, the Japanese one and possibly the normal one as well, the, the American slash English version, we're going to be moving on to Resident Evil 4, the original one, which is basically means... Because there's three Resident e Re there's four Resident Evil 4 games, or five, if you're thinking about it. There's one for the PS2, there's one for the 360, which we did videos on. There is the Wii version, and there is the Xbox One version. We're going to be playing the Xbox One version of Resident Evil 4, just to get some more achievements, and play the game all over again. After that, we're going to do a handgun and knife only run on Resident Evil 4 Remake, because I'd like a challenge. And I feel like the handgun is pretty easy to handle with, and I love the knife, so why not? After doing the remake of number four, we are going to be playing as, or we're going to be doing Resident Evil 5 again. I don't know what challenge we're going to do for this one. I may up the difficulty a bit to go on professional, even though I know how pissed off I got towards the final fight. But it's going to be even harder. However, did I do it on the Xbox? 
story, Andre. 360 or did I buy the Xbox One version? If not, then I'll play the game again normally on Xbox 360 just to get those achievements because I feel like I've got that on a list somewhere, like an achievement list. I'll just play number abandoned? 6 on there. I mean number 5, sorry. On number 6, I may go the 360 route again, but I've already played it on the 360. I've just got the Xbox One achievements. So, what we're going to do in the original video, we played... We're not going to do Ada's campaign when we replay number 6 next time, because I don't need to do her campaign again. Unless I do, like, a collectible run or something like that. I don't know. But, originally when we did number 6, we played as Leon, Sherry, and Chris. On the replay, we're going to be playing as Hel Helena, Jake, and Piers instead. Although... Just to give us like little little bit of difference with the gun, you know. Andre, what do you think? After number six, of course, we're going to be playing Andre? Resident Evil Seven again. During Resident Andre? Evil Seven, um, I've already Andre? beaten the game so many times. I've been on hard, I've been on easy, I've been on normal. I've done the knife only run. Is there achievement for knife only run? I think there was. I've done the little damage run. I've done the, the I've done all the runs in the game. I've not the only achievement I'm missing in that game in the base game is finding all the documents. Fuck that, I'll do that at some point in my life. But we are going to be playing Resident Evil 7 again, as we did for 2 and 3. I'm going to buy the Japanese version of the game. Just so I can say, hey, I've played the Japanese version number 7, and we can go through that. Just the main story, I'm not going to go too into it, because I know I can play that game pretty easily. It's one of the easiest Resident Evil games out there for all achievement-wise. And then we're going to play Resident Evil 8. As far as I know, that doesn't have a Japanese run version, because it's not as gory as 1, 2, and... Well, two, three, and seven, I guess. So we are going to take a step back from that. But we're going to move on to number eight. Number eight does have DLC. This is off the, like, all the DLC stuff. I've got to mention all that as well. We're going to play in the DLC shit too. After all the DLC is done, we'll play these, all these again. Just mean this, all the order they're coming out in. But for number eight, there is a third person version of the game. And I want to play that version of the game. Which is basically just your Resident Evil 1 and 2, hell? or 2 and 3, mainly. The recent ones, it's just going to be like that in Resident Evil 8 form. Which I'm kid. interested to play as, to be honest. Uh, After number 8, Andre, and we go. Um, if there's not any more Resident Evil games to play, no doubt there'll be remakes at that point. There'll be more Resident Evil games. We'll just finish off Outbreak File 2. And I want to do Resident Evil for as long as this channel is alive. So we will be playing the games all over again at some point in different scenarios and shit. See what challenges I can do. See what things I'm missing in the achievement wise. Just go for it. You know, just play it all through. I forgot about Resident Evil Zero. Ooh, we'll be playing that again too. Fuck, I forgot about that. Should have started Resident Evil Zero. Shit. Finally, we're going to be playing a zero one one two 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 three three three. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then any other remakes that come out, we'll be doing those along the way. Any new Resident Evil games will come in them, getting those out along the way as well, and all their DLCs if they get some too. Resident Evil Survivor 2 is coming out soon. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak is getting finished up soon, but all those zero to eight again, all the way through the mainline series from start to finish and go from there. But hey, hope you've enjoy this little information video about what I'm going to be doing with the Resident Evil series. Of course, after Outbreak File 2, we may dive back down into Resident Evil Outbreak games and finish them all, the stories with everybody. Well, that means with Kevin, Yoko. We've already done Yoko for Resident Evil Outbreak 1, but like, there's going to be someone who's going to beat it, but I feel like I'm going to do for Yoko for Outbreak File 2 as well. So once we've done those, I'll probably just do Outbreak all the way through. Like one, all, like, all the characters twice in through one and through two. In one chunk just to span it out because i've already said many times that this channel will be done when we'll still do like new games when they come out but that's about it but we will be done with youtube once i've done everything i want to do in hyrule warriors that means play every character on every map there is a bonus map that i need to unlock and we're doing it in my spare time and in videos when the time comes it's going to be a Fun, fun thing. But as for now, though, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day slash evening or morning, and I shall see you with more Resident Evil very soon. Have a good day.
Welcome to the family, son. Yeah. Uh.